negativity from a human is literally probably the worst thing another human can do to a human. And normally it's your mom. <laughs> you got your perspective. I just wanna be happy, don't you wanna be happy? Definitely, like, clearly see like your content was way different, and just after a couple months after, I was like, you know, I was fed up. I, was, like, I quit my job. I just decided like I wanted to be a YouTuber. Makes sense. Um, and then I just wanted to pursue that because I just was like, fuck it. Yeah, like seeing that, and I remember seeing like uh, Jim Carrey's graduation speech, mm. saying how like if you. Um, don't like what you're doing, like, why don't you try something that, like, you, I forgot what exactly is. The punchline is right. I mean, I have no idea. I, I saw Caleb in the corner of my eye shake his head, so obviously this video was seen a lot, and I think I do remember something in this, I guess. It doesn't matter, here's the punchline while everybody's watching too. It makes the most sense in the world to go high risk in your youth, because you can live at your parents' house, you two and 19 people watching can live in a studio 21 deep. What do you think immigrants do? They live 21 deep and in a fucking studio. Like, I fucking like know it, I lived it, I saw it, I watched it. Like, this is exactly when you guys are supposed to take two core leaps of faith. Either go fucking do it for yourself, or get close to something that you believe in completely, and if you, it's more about content, like me, cool, that makes sense, and now Alex is watching, like, it, this makes sense for you guys, because by the way, not, I'm looking at all three of you right now, you might not be entrepreneurs, it's hard, it's different, it's a talent, but cool, then get as close as possible to something that's awesome, rad, or fun, or entrepreneurial, whether that's a human, skateboarding, go and fucking, link up, go DM right now, or email, or, or hit up on YouTube message the 17 coolest skateboarders that you think and be like, I will work for you for cl- free if you're privileged in two ways. There's two privileges. There's the privilege of your parents can help you, great. That's fine, that's not bad. Then just own it, don't be like, you're doing it. It's about truth. Or the privilege of humility. Yeah. The privilege of loving to eat dirt. The privilege that your mindset is so right that when the skateboarders like cool come to Malibu, you're like, oh fuck, uh, okay, go on Craigslist, be like, yo, like, and then also work at Burger King night shift, like the privilege of humility. Either be the skateboarder that has a fucking vlog, or go work for the skateboarder, or next, go and fucking what you do for me, what you three do for me, DM on Instagram right now the coolest skateboard shop or brand, and be like. I produce amazing content for YouTube and Instagram. I have a funny feeling if every fucking kid who's watching this video right now DMs 13 companies or people that they think are rad with the I make amazing content for Instagram or YouTube, they're gonna find themselves a very interesting reply. That's my 2018 challenge. DM 13 fuckers that you think are awesome or companies, right? And tell them that you make awesome content on Instagram and YouTube and see what the fuck happens change the course of people's lives. If they have the privilege of, and by the way, there's a third privilege. You sold a ton of fucking tchotchkes on eBay and saved up 10,000 bucks, and you can go to fucking Oakland and live for four and a half months, because you earned it. Because you went on Craigslist free and flipped it on Facebook. It's all here. I'm so fucking proud of you, man. You know how many people sit in that IT job for their life? Hey guys. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. Ready to go? You guys are good? Good. Hey everybody. How are you? Great. The biz ops project management thing is interesting to me. You really made an impact here. Yeah. A lot of people to. took a notice. I tried to. You got a lot of fans out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm impressed. Yeah, I tried to. You did it. Yeah. It's not that easy to do, by the way. You made a real impact. Yeah. So I, now what? Now I go back to school. And what is in school? UC Irvine. 
Just California. Yep. Yep. How long? Uh, I have. I'm gonna go into my sophomore year. You're a kid. Just turned 19. Yep. Is it harder now because of this is such an anti-college yes. environment? Yes. <laughs> it's harder to go back. I didn't really pay much attention. Now I'm just like not Fuck. really. Yeah. Now it's even it's, worse. It's, now it's like you can't even unsee it. Yeah. I know. I know. But you can go a different route if you want to like make your parents happy. You can just turn it into a vacation. Yeah, yeah. For real. That's what I'm, tr yeah. Just don't fail out. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. yeah, like if there's a, if Gary Vee's coming to an hour away and giving a talk and you're interested in that, go. If Casey does an impromptu pop-up meet and greet and you want to go and you have to miss science, miss science. Do you understand? Yeah, I get it. This is us, huh? This is us. This is Learning how to make money online can be tricky, which is why I wanted to put out an article that can be a resource for anyone and everyone looking to make a few hundred extra bucks on the weekend. As opposed to teaching you how to turn a hundred dollars into a thousand or even ten into a thousand, I'm teaching, gonna, going to teach you how to turn zero into a thousand. For what feels like the last 30 years, hundreds of people have told me that they can't pursue their new business idea, their personal brand, or even flip stuff online because they have no money to get started. The worst part is, despite hating excuses with all my heart, I've always had to pander to that response because of the lack of I've, straight I've also, I've right. always had to have sympathy and empathy for that. Uh, however, that is no longer an excuse. For the first time in my career, I've eliminated the excuse of having no money. It's called the Craigslist Free Section. Uh, that goes on for sex on my car to flip stuff. So good. You feeling good about it? Yeah. So sure, it may take you 87 minutes to make that extra 20 bucks, but trust me, that's a whole lot better than doing whatever it is that you're doing otherwise. I seriously cannot get this opportunity out of my make head. A con make a context there of like, you know, if you're complaining. Yes. You know, like for a lot of people that you don't need 100 bucks. Yes. But you need to hedge there a little bit. Cool. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's essentially it. Then it's like, here's other people that are killing it, shows some tweets, it shows tweets of complaining, et cetera. Good? Good. Cool. Thanks, man. So they jump in the back? Uh, let's pull the... That's probably my biggest issue at hand, right? With so much to do, like where does this even sit? What, what does it, you know, for example, when I see it, I'm like, what does that even require of me? Fuck oh, God. <laughs> just, uh, they all sound so great in theory. And just so much energy and work, right? Yeah, well. So underestimated how much energy goes into it, you know? Okay, so I say, I know you deal with a lot of entrepreneurs, artists, and all that. I'm a poet, you don't talk a lot about poets, but no. you have helped me immensely. I went from like sharing random stuff here and there in like little basements to like making like money from sharing, going to like shows and open mics and like doing curated shows because of you. Because of being consistent with my craft and yes. like it's only been a couple of years of doing it. Yes. I listen to you like so often. You remind me of my dad who has like that the immigrant hustle story. He came here with no money. I showed my dad your videos and he started like crying. Like he loves you. <laughs> That's amazing. No, I'm serious. Thank you. Like, Tell him you thank you. And like you spent so much to me. Like, What's your it, name? Nirali. Nirali. And also you put me on to Anik. Yes. You love Sierra. I'm Philly. Yes. Um, like so many connections. We got flavor I, together. Genuinely. genuinely you have meant so much to me, so. Thank you like, so I, much. That's just a couple of things. Like, I can Thank go you off, so much. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Photo? Hold on a second. We have field passes? If you yeah, want to I want to go. Okay. When do we have to leave? Um, relatively soon, not immediately. 30? 20? Probably 30 at the at latest. 6. 6.30? Probably 20, 30. 20, 20 minutes? Okay. Cool. Good? Cool. cool. Yeah. We came all the way from Arkansas because we love you so much and we thank just wanted so to much. thank you for the content that you put out and it's completely changed both of our lives and the way we act, the way we, what we do in our business, in our jobs, in our everyday life. Just wanted to say thank you. Thank you so much for coming out here. I started an uh, electrical contracting company, Women Know Women Own, Love in it. New York City. Love it. Yeah. I want to ask you from contracting, like yeah. how is it different, how can we bring it up? And 
make What's it. What's the best way to? For, one more time, I want to make sure, I, for what kind of contracting? Construction, Construction. electrical, full scale. Yeah. Electrical contracting. So, are you thinking from a sales standpoint or from a marketing standpoint? Well, I know you're you're more into both, everything. You know, to me, to me, this is why I asked, and you yeah. notice how I don't ask that often? I think the business you're in is more predicated on sales up front than it is branding. Interesting. I kind of disagree, but I'll Great. go with it. Well, it's amazing. I'll go with it's it. amazing. Yeah. Like, look, I never think I'm always right, and more importantly, but I always think. You do it if you were us. I would do sales. 100% yeah. <laughs> I would do sales <laughs> would up front. Sales. Knock, knock, knock. All right. Okay, I don't. I do. don't. Yeah. I don't think. I, <laughs> that's what we do. More. Right. Even more. Okay. Got it. Okay. You spending one minute on what video or how you're gonna brand position yourselves as female leaders is one minute away from sales. Interesting. That's why I'm giving you the answer. I know it's a counter answer to my normal advice. Interesting. But I believe your business up front, establishing through sales a foundation is outrageously important. My point of view. Yeah. In watching a lot of construction businesses being built Listen, and general Gary, contractors. Thank you. But you yes, know, right. I know it's like super counter to what I normally <laughs> yes. say. I would never think. But this is why I always want to meet people. Like crushing it to get it to. I get know? it, but that's why context right. matters. That's why I wanted to. That's why I do this. Yes. Because awesome. I curveball when I know all the details. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Get if you can get a couple. If you can get a nice little business going with a foundation, then you can take the risk of branding down. I didn't brand VaynerMedia first. I did sales. Uh huh. Yes. You understand? That's how we do it. When you're doing that kind of business, one -on -one. especially in your it. sector, oh, yeah. you got to reverse engineer your customer. Your customer will respond to sales. Right. Fantastic. Love Thank it. You, Gary. Thank you, you so it. much. You're yeah. welcome. Thanks again. All right, who, who wants to sneak one in? Like friend negativity from like friend issues. Can't hear cheating it. on who's cheating on who, like whatever. My, like. If I walk home tonight and my wife is cheating on me, I can deal with that easy. Yeah. Easy. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. Easy. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. First thing I would do, like I do everything in my life, I would look at myself. Oh. Take First. Hundred percent. Walk in in a man with my wife, and I'd be like, "There's so much of what I've done to create this moment." I believe that. You may not believe me. You just don't know me. I believe it with all my heart. Yeah. Friend negativity is easy. I don't hear it. Like I love my friends, but like, if they're negative, like. I, I, my friends being negative only leads to me spending less time with them, but I won't cut them out completely if I grew up with them. Yeah. If they're my homies, but I'll hang out with them once a year. I'll be there for them. But like, negativity from a human is literally probably the worst thing another human can do to a human. And normally it's your mom. <laughs> I got it not. <laughs> you know, and so, it's your mom 50% of the time. Think about how crazy that is. <laughs> so that's easy, bro, only because that's on me. Yeah. You can limit your time with your mom. You can limit your time with your best friend. You could tell your girlfriend or husband to go fuck themselves. Yeah. You could? Good. You're accepting to be in that relationship. That's on you. Yeah. I feel like even when I give it away and I don't speak to them, the chatter of them talk like that it's means just, you, that, like, that, that, that means you value their opinion. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. yeah. If you're cutting them out because they're negative, in theory you don't value their opinion, but you do. You're doing it as a tactic. It's not where you're. You're not all the way there yet. Okay. That's what you need to look at. Yeah. It means that you might believe them. I don't. We're all yeah. lined up. Quick group photo. Qu group photo. All right, real fast. Get in. Quick group photo. Let's go. Group photo, quick. I'm sure, I'm sure I got to Who's taking it? Yeah. Show guys in the front. I guess I'll send it to everybody. <laughs> Get in, ladies. <laughs> Lev knows what to do. Ongavrit <laughs> Paruski. <laughs>